Cyclical stocks to buy now, big rotation into value. In the today's video you will learn what is the big rotation. What happened in the last quarter? What happened in the last quarter of 2021? We will see in this video that people invested in technology stock and now they rediscovered value stocks again. And this is called the big rotation. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. Hello, my name is Enzo Caputo. I am a Swiss banking lawyer. I am the owner of the boutique law firm Caputo and Partners and the owner of the blog SwissBankingLawyers.com. SwissBankingLawyers.com is the place where international successful business people find tips and solutions for better protection of their assets and they will learn how to pay less tax. Stay with us. We fight for your money. It's a great pleasure today to have Olivier Schedel with us. Olivier is a Swiss asset manager based in Geneva. He has a lot of experience. He is the right man to tell us what the big rotation means because the news are full of big rotation with this keyword big rotation but let's discover what that means exactly hello olivier great pleasure to have you with us today so hello, what Enzo. happened Thank what, you. what happened in the in the news in the last in the last in the first quarter 2021 well it's quite a little bit happening uh, in in the first quarter of 2021 if you just look at the indices uh, in America, in Europe, in Asia, uh, the indices have gone up. But that doesn't mean that all the stocks and all the sectors went up. Technology stocks had a very hard time. Uh, some of the darlings of 2020 had sometimes uh, corrections of 20, 30 uh, percent during the first quarter of 2021. And at the same time, other stocks which were totally forgotten and put aside uh, uh, after the COVID uh, start in March 2020, they have reappeared and have been rediscovered by investors. That explains why globally the indices have well resisted, but that certain other indices like the NASDAQ or especially technology stocks uh, as themselves have had a hard time because of COVID also because there is a new a new development in this COVID in this COVID uh, history so now people uh, is, is having vaccines so they are doing vaccines so there is hope that all this COVID uh, this COVID phenomenon will stop sooner or later so we will manage the problem because thanks to vaccines and this has also an impact in the investment communities. No, definitely. I mean, uh, in, in, in March 2020, uh, people first, investors first, were uh, a little bit at a loss. That explains the first slump in the market. But then, which sectors recovered very, very quickly? The technology sector. And it's normal because whatever you can do uh, over the distance, online, you can do online shopping, online learning, you can um, uh, do whatever you want virtually, you can order your pizza uh, at home, everything, all these stocks were benefiting from COVID, the yeah. COVID. Yeah. Uh, and the traditional stocks, they were hurt. Uh, if you were a supermarket like Tesco in the US UK uh, or Walmart, uh, that was not exactly the place uh, to be invested in because uh, nobody due to confinement, were really uh, able to go downtown and do, do their shopping. Yeah. Now that has changed. Now with the vaccines, um, the, the, the light at the end of the tunnel is becoming a little bit clearer. And uh, there is a good chance that people not only long to go back to their previous life, but that they want to spend also more because they haven't spent as much in the last 12 months as they yeah, they, were, they were captured, no, no. people were captured. Yeah. Now there is a sentiment, people, they want to go out. 
They don't want to shop only online shopping. Online shopping, okay, but they like also to go down in the streets, check going the shop, visiting the shops, having a coffee outside, uh, meeting other people. And this gives access to uh, other businesses again who were undervalued and these businesses are coming up. And that's why we have this phenomenon of the big rotation. COVID is, uh, is a reason. Uh, COVID is one reason. Yeah. The, the second reason uh, is or lies in these big infrastructure programs which have been announced in America but also in, in Europe. So Joe Biden announced to invest trillions and trillions in infrastructure. What Absolutely. kind of infrastructure? Uh, streets, highways, uh, uh, airports, uh, railways and... Uh, Absolutely. So the, the suddenly investors said, well, we forgot a little bit about stocks like Caterpillar or Holcim, uh, Lafarge Holcim, the world's biggest uh, concrete uh, builder. These two companies and, and many others in that sector will certainly benefit from these huge infrastructure programs. Um, this is part of the, the, the big rotation. Whatever is infrastructure uh, um, linked and we're talking about building airports, uh, building bridges, bring, building highways, schools. Um, uh, you, you can, you so can what are these cyclical stocks to buy now? What are these cyclical stocks to buy now? What would you suggest for well, example now for this infrastructure, infrastructure uh, well, stocks? Look at which were the best performing stocks in the first quarter in America, for example. It was Halliburton, it was Marathon Oil, Chevron, um, Royal Dutch in, in Europe. Uh, so, boring oil stocks. Nobody wanted oil stocks because obviously, outdated, you remember, outdated. Nobody oil wanted was this even stuff. negatively yeah. Yeah. Uh, priced. Um, investors, I think, just realized that oil will be around for quite some time. Though the general trend is going down in terms of consumption, um, oil stocks, first of all, oil stocks will be around because oil is still needed. But they in are also that, diversified, these oil yes. stocks. These are not only oil companies, they are diversified. The You're absolutely market. right. Royal yeah. Dutch Shell, for example, uh, is investing billions in new uh, technologies uh, to, to be more in, in the green economy, yeah. uh, in wind and other power sources. So it's, I, I, I'm absolutely sure in five, ten years from now, Royal Dutch will not be seen as an oil company, but as an integrated uh, energy company, mm. uh, where oil plays a minor role in it. And I think this is a rotation you should be in, yeah. uh, because this is, has something to do with the green economy, and with the big rotation out of an old economy into uh, new concepts. Mm -hmm. um, the, um, so something which is linked to that are airlines. Nobody uh, could travel, so airline stocks were really at the bottom. Um, very cheap, so very, it's, a, it's an opportunity cheap. to buy it so because can, they are so cheap. Of course, you can yeah. say uh, the chance is quite good that within the next 12 months, we will um, uh, be able to travel again, maybe not immediately to the same extent than a year ago yeah. or one and a half years ago, but to an extent much, much larger than during the whole of 2020. So airline stocks or airport management stocks or duty-free managers. Yeah, because like these, airplane, these airline stocks, they are connected with the duty-free business. And the duty-free business is huge, has nothing yeah. to do with the airline. So Absolutely. they are just shops at the ground at the airport. But and this, this is, is big, not online. Uh, this, this is, is not is, online, exactly. This exactly. is physical. So this physical is, these stocks. are cyclical stocks to reconsider in the big rotation, which are the winners right now. Right. These stocks are the winners. Traditional stocks are the winners right now. So if you compare the classical indices, with the tech indices, you see that the classical indices are the winners compared to the, and the tech indices are the losers. You're right. We said that there were several reasons to this big rotation. The first one was COVID. The second yeah. one was uh, uh, linked to infrastructure programs, government programs, yeah. right? Yeah. To stimulate the economy. Yeah. The third 
is interest rates. Interest rates have very been interesting, very interesting negative interest rates, or yeah. at zero for now quite a long time. And we see that interest rates are uh, picking up. They are not, by far not, where they were four years ago, but still the bottom has uh, certainly been left so they behind. Are, yeah, okay, so uh, right. they will grow. Interest rate now, will grow. if you have a higher general interest rate level, then your calculation, when you analyze a stock value, the, the discounted value of future earnings um, must go down with higher interest rates. No. And that means that those companies which were very highly valued, you know, with uh, a price earning ratio like of 30, Tesla, 40, Tesla for 50% example. Yeah. or 500%, yeah. these stocks have suffered now. Yeah. It is normal. They just go to a little bit a more normal level. And the, the stocks which were traded at seven times earnings, they are now uh, moving up to maybe 10, 11 times earnings. This is a kind of Equilibrium. Equilibrium. Which is, when we can uh, see this equilibrium gained. if we compare Tesla with Volkswagen. Yeah. So this is typical because Volkswagen has the technology also Tesla has, but nobody considered Volkswagen. But now Volkswagen has been discovered because they are also building uh, new cars with batteries as Tesla is doing. And they are not idiots. They are in the market since many years, Volkswagen. You know, it's also about brands and about positioning. Yeah. Elon Musk, I must say, is brilliant in positioning Tesla as he did, yeah. as a tech stock. It was not a car manufacturer, it was a technology company, where the Volkswagen or Renault and, and all the Mercedes-Benz and all that, these companies were considered car makers. And car makers were, per definition, boring and old economy. That's not true. Yeah. Volkswagen has uh, an, an a number of brilliant engineers who in very short in a very short time were able to uh, compete now in terms of technology with Tesla with Tesla exactly. and they have more uh, means also uh, capital than, than Tesla has and history reserves. and everything yes they and have they a have history. a huge market share yeah. because yeah. Volkswagen is the number one in the world so what happened from a stock which for months and you can say for years uh, uh, lingered about 140, 150 euros is now suddenly 100 euros higher value, 250. And due to the probably, big rotation, due yes. to the big rotation, and I think it's justified. This price is justified for uh, most, Volkswagen. Most certainly, I, I I would say so, and it's certainly a, a stock to, um, to to still observe. Okay, yeah. to keep in mind. So have on the watch list. So this is a stock, Volkswagen is definitely a stock to have on the watch list. You do your own due diligence. What are other very interesting stocks we should, uh, we should uh, reconsider, especially these old companies we know since many years. You spoke before about the oil companies, the old oil companies, but what uh, in Switzerland we have Holzim. Holcim you mentioned? Well, I mentioned Holcim yeah. uh, uh, in, in the infrastructure building. Yeah. Um, but you can go to clothing stocks. Clothing uh, stock, yeah. Uh, for example, yeah. Lululemon was the typical gainer of the, uh, of the COVID situation because you stayed at home, you wanted to have something uh, on which was comfortable, uh, you just uh, uh, did your Zoom uh, videos, so you, it didn't yeah. count yeah. whether you had a, a, a tie on or a jacket or whatever. Now, if we go back to a little bit more a formal life where you go back to an office, you have presentations, you go to meetings and so on, um, you might actually wish to uh, go to stores where they sell the traditional suits and, and, and shirts and the women also. Okay. You, you know, don't so underestimate this, is a, this. So this is a typical cyclical stocks yeah. who is coming, who is coming yeah. back again. Who is coming back Absolutely. again. Yeah. So, yeah. And in a totally different register, Boeing, for example, or Airbus, um, obviously during COVID uh, uh, times, uh, building airplanes was not seen as the most sexy thing in the world yeah. uh, because you had no idea where this 
pandemic would lead us. But now that we are a, a, a little bit further uh, away from with the, the vaccines, very beginning, yeah, with the um, vaccines, uh, we are more confident to manage right. this problem well. Yeah, there will be new planes uh, yeah. necessary. You need planes with less emissions. Uh, th there is a huge amount of technology also in these planes. But yeah. basically, you need also steel. You need you need. Uh, uh, um, uh, plastics and wh whatever you All need. All kinds of commodities, a, a yes. Com yeah, you need that. Right. Yeah. And then uh, you said commodities. Commodities is extremely cyclical. I mean, buying So gold companies, stuff. they are extremely cyclical. Gold yes. companies, copper, uh, yeah. uh, um, uranium is yeah. energy. Huh? It's coming up. Uranium was after Fukushima. Nobody wanted to invest anymore in, uh, in, in nuclear power. Now you see that nuclear power is actually a very clean energy. You have other problems, of course, of storage, but yeah. that might be resolved. And what happens? Cameco, the biggest uh, uranium uh, uh, producer, the stock, uh, uh, has, has come up quite a bit. Very interesting. Very and, interesting. And uranium, uranium as such uh, has, has had a good run. Yeah. Copra had a, a good run and is still, uh, in my opinion, uh, having a, a very good run. And also silver, I think. Silver also has a bright... Silver is an industrial um, uh, metal. Yeah. Uh, or, or as it is, palladium and, and platinum. You know, with catalyzers or more uh, sophisticated... Um, uh, elements in in uh, nature-friendly appliances. You need these kind of metals. So yeah. yes, I think the demand for silver, palladium, and platinum, and nickel, and and zinc will increase. Excellent, excellent. Definitely. So, uh, so we have the big rotation, basically for shares, but also in commodities. So we can also consider companies producing such commodities. Yes. For example, uh, companies producing uranium or uh, producing silver, and we can invest in these kind of companies. You Obviously, know, you have to know uh, uh, these companies and what they do very well. Uh, make your homework first before you invest. But these are ideas, alternatives uh, well, to think about. True. Um, I, what, what I think is we need to get to a a better, how would I say, equilibrium between yeah. very highly rated stocks, which are maybe overrated. I don't say their products are bad, by far not. Yeah. I'm a big but fan of... But the stock of, price, it's exaggerated. Yes, it's too high. Yes. But, uh, and some other stock prices were definitely too low, and there will be an equilibrium. If you think that markets are rather highly valued as such, yes. I'm more comfortable to have at least part of my money into stocks which are representing uh, the, the economy which has been and will be in front of us uh, uh, for the next few years, even if their growth potential is much more limited than the big uh, technology companies. Yeah, yeah. And Nestle, for example, is a, the, the world's biggest food company. Now, this is maybe not terribly sexy because their growth rate is between three and a half and five yeah. percent per annum. But Nestle invests billions into healthy food, into ah, healthy new food. food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is, it has a innovation, innovation yeah. an innovative, disruptive element in it. Yeah. And I think that is interesting. Yeah. Uh, but Nestle has a price earning ratio, which is totally different from the one uh, uh, in Apple or Tesla. Exactly. So, so if, they, you invest, uh, if, if you invest in, uh, in a share like Nestle, you cannot do a mistake, correct? So it's very difficult long to, term, to do a mistake. Long term, probably not. Long You're term. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, you cannot do a mistake because right. I have clients, they have Nestle shares since, uh, since 20, 30, 40 years and uh, they are still happy. They will never sell it. They still have it on the books. You know, it comes back to, to uh, what we discussed on a, on a different uh, theme is diversifying your portfolio. You yeah. have a few core stocks of top blue chip companies who have been around for very long and whose business models are still very well geared to the future. These you have to own. And then you put some technology stocks, some smaller stocks, some interesting new features yeah. that you can add to your portfolio. And then you have something which uh, 
which will be well prepared for the next uh, few years. So this is the setup to not lose money. So this is the setup to not lose money by investing in such value stocks. Thank you very much for being with us today. S information just like this you cannot find in bibliotheques, not in libraries and not in the internet. If you like more information just like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell. By doing so, you will never miss a new video. And if you have a question you would like to discuss directly with me, please ring this number below 0041442124404 and give me a call free of charge. Thank you very much for your time and see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye, bye, -bye Olivier. You. Great pleasure.